What's up guys, it's Drake, and the third time's the charm, he said hopefully. So, uh, I have had two 3D printers, neither of which have worked at all. So one of them was from the esteemed and lauded Joseph Prusa, and uh, it was terrible. My customer service was terrible, it did one half okay print, and they did not make it right to me. I had to take them to PayPal court, and even then, they still made me cover the $200 shipping back to the Czech Republic. I briefly considered sending them a box of brick, uh, but I sent them their garbage machine bag because honestly, it was about the same difference. So now that that rant is over, and yes, I know that a lot of people like their Prusa machines, but I brought a pre-assembled machine, and its Z calibration was off, and because it's so smart, it was too smart for itself. It thought that its Z calibration wasn't off, and just constantly drove itself into its own bed, just like it was driving itself into its own early grave. And it's gone now. So after that, I got a knockoff Prusa, which was terrible uh, as well. So we got that one completely assembled, but it was a kit, so it was cheap. It was like $200 to try again. And we had to jerry-rig certain parts because it came missing parts, so we ended up using these ribbon cables from an FDL, and we finally got it uploaded and ready to go and it didn't work because it refused to load files no matter what format we put them on uh, its firmware was bad of course you can't fix the firmware if you can't actually load programs onto it so take two was a complete turbo bust now this is a CR10 and I've heard really good things about this printer and a company called light in the box offered to send me one so there will be a link it's clearly some sort of trackable link for them to get good stuff out of it to light in the box in the description box below but I was going to film a build segment for this, but honestly, it was easier than either of the other printers have been. It was take this piece, put it on, plug all the cables into the necessary things, and you can vaguely see here they all have these little like almost ear tag things on them. So the Z went to Z, X went to X, E went to extruder, which is here, and it was good to go. So this is the CR10. We made sure the only tricky part is if you look over here, there's a China Land setting and an American setting, so we set it to the North America setting, which required a screwdriver, and now when you turn it on, it doesn't explode. So this isn't a handle, uh, but you can see there, it blinky blinky lights and it vents from its power supply unit. Now we just attached the glass, we have a spare extruder, which is nice. There's actually filament trying to come out of here because we did just heat it up. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that so that we can do a formal Z calibration, but uh, the CR10 is sweet. Now, I haven't printed on it yet, but I wanted to make a quick intro segment just telling you that as far as ease of installation goes, couldn't be easier. It was two screws in the bottom, six screws in the side, cable, 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 done. So, it's set up, it's ready to go, it's a massive print bed. I think that it's significantly larger than the Prusa, both in terms of its height and its XY, so I'm actually like, Assuming it works, and again, third time's the charm because boy are we due for a win here, this will be an excellent 3D printer. So now that it's set up, we're going to try running a test print on it, and then we'll find it a forever home in the workshop. Let's go! One week later. Alrighty guys, so the CR10 actually serves as a pretty good frame for this, but it eventually has to move off of this and into its forever home, which will probably be elsewhere in the workshop. So I want to talk about it, I wanted to thank this company for sending it over, and I wanted to like legitimately review it for you guys. So it's cheaper than a Prusa, it was crazy easy to put together, shout out to my friend Walt for making a lot of that pretty simple, um, but uh, it's been doing pretty immaculate prints. Now there have been some hang ups, you can see my giant owl statue here has some very interesting uh, layer separation up on his face and whatnot. Now I suspect that has something to do with the fact that this is the roll of filament that came with the original Prusa and has just been sitting out gathering moisture or what have you uh, for that duration of time. Now, this is a file that I printed. Uh, I found this. This is a crossbow from 1995's foregrip uh, adapted to Nerf rail. So, unfortunately, I was thinking about it and nothing really is long enough to properly make use of this, so it's an interesting file. However, it printed very nicely. You can throw it on, and it is a tight fit. Now the designer said specifically that it was supposed to be a tight fit because 
he didn't want it going anywhere once it was on things. But once it's on there, you can see like, it looks sort of ridiculous. <coughs> so, why would you want a crossbow foregrip just hanging off of your strife like that? There's nothing practical about that. So after I tested this out, I was like, you know what? I'll just search for another one. So this is a Strife foregrip specifically designed for the Strife. It still has the weird hangout and front function issue, but this is actually pretty nice, pretty comfortable. And I'm happy with how this one printed, but again, like there's a steep, oh no. Uh-oh. Well, that's on there now. So there's a learning curve to this for sure. Now, uh, my test print of this cat was immaculate and you guys won't be able to see it because it's not in complete focus, but this is a flawless print. It's amazing. Now, of course, it was calibrated so that it would work or calibrated, mealibrated, so that it would fit on this printer and print as well as possible with the default settings. So it does look pretty good. I printed a miniature owl uh, because I really like owls. This one's a necklace. I think it would be a little silly as a necklace, but I printed it anyway. And so uh, then I printed then I printed something useful, I guess. So eventually I'm going to send files to this guy wirelessly via a tiny Raspberry Pi uh, here. This is not a Raspberry Pi, is it? No, it is a Raspberry Pi wireless model. And so I printed a little case for it. And the wonders of 3D printing are really interesting because you can print a joint so that, I don't know how to describe this. The joint wouldn't be possible without extruded material because it's permanent. There's no extra parts in this joint. And that means that it's straight through something that's otherwise sealed. It's like a ship in a bottle, except for something so very, very simple. And this will just allow me to use Octopi to send files downstairs without having to constantly shuffle back and forth, popping this SD card in and out. So I'm very happy with the CR10. I think that it's super easy to use. I think that it's configurations are great and I love actually how much of it is manual so my biggest issue with the Prusa was with a faulty Penda sensor and just the absolute nightmare that is working with that company and all of that was an issue because of the auto leveling if there had been a way to just manually level the bed it actually would have been a lot easier and so this has all of these adjustable knobs on the bottom that lets you calibrate the bed however you want and then it just keeps those settings because they're physical not digital and if it ever seems off to you can come in and touch it up again. Everything else is very bare bones, very simple. You don't even have to add this. This is like an extruder alert where you can mount this in here and it'll tell you if it's running out of filament and it'll stop your print. I don't even think that that's necessary because I like minimizing things. You guys know from my Nerf work that I love taking things that are complicated, simplifying them down to the bare bones like processes, which is why we take out all the locks and the mechanical hangups and nerf blasters, and that's what the CR-10 is. It's not fancy, not even a little bit, but it does good work in a very simple and easy to understand fashion. So I can actually, I didn't know what I was getting into when I started this review, and I told this company like, yes, I would love to review your thing. I had no idea what I was getting into. I thought, honestly, it would be another 3D printing nightmare, but I finally have a machine that actually works. I've printed some Caliburn parts. I'm very, very happy with how it's functioning. I've uh, printed a chrono script, which is part of a giveaway on my Instagram right now. And you guys can tell that uh, I'm really enjoying using this and learning about it. And I think that that's the best part. Uh, my takeaway from this review is I think that this could very easily be like baby's first 3D printer or 3D printer for dummies. It's so simple and easy to understand. This is a really good starting point. So in my personal opinion, if you're looking to get into 3D printing, if you're already a 3D printing expert, you probably don't need a CR10 because you already are a 3D printing expert. You probably have a machine that's working very quickly and very fast for you that you've already tweaked and customized. But I think that if you're not into 3D printing and you want to get into 3D printing, this is a cheap which is important. Nobody wants to spend a ton of money breaking into an industry they don't understand. But this is a relatively inexpensive entry point to an entire hobby that has been working really great for me so far. I do just want to shout out uh, the, the company also sent me this. I'll let you guys guess what this is. Uh, but before you guess too terribly much, 
Oh, this isn't gonna work because right now my my hairstyle is like for when you don't want your hair in your hot end But also the British are coming so uh, I can't actually try this on for you right now But uh, guess what this is in the comment section below it will be showing up in a video soon So that's my review of the CR 10 printer I'm actually super happy with it if you'd like to pick one up and support the people who supported me The link to purchase this will be in the description box below and if you'd like to purchase some of these crazy Whatever they are those links will be in the description box as well if you're uh, interested in playing dress up or just seeing what's coming soon on the channel Thank you very much for watching much love nerf on Drek out